Hello friends, welcome to Coding Simplified. So in last tutorial, we saw about the for loops, then while loop, then do while loop. And today we will see about the nested loop. So many times nested loops are very useful like when we are doing problems of matrix or in some other cases it's very useful. So for that we use the nested loops. So a nested loop basically means the loops within loops right so for example here you can see that we are using one for loop inside another for loop right so in this case like the first loop is operating from i equal to 0 to 2 and second loop is operating from j equal to 0 to 2 so uh, if we run this program so that will give us the i equal to 0 then j, j equal to 0 so for every value of i the whole j value will run from 0 for for j equal to 0 and 1 so similarly for i equal to 1 also j equal to 0 and j equal to 1 will print out right so this is how we uh, run the nested loop so this was about the nested for loop and similarly uh, now we will see about the nested while and for loop so uh, so i am changing it to while loop so let's see and uh, i need to declare it also so declare it y equal to 0 and then i need to increment it right so this is the same thing as i have done with the for so here i am using while loop then uh, inside so inner loop i have for loop so if you run this program this will give you the same input so again we are we have initialized the value of i from here and then the condition I have put in the while and then iteration is here so it will do the same thing for i equal to 0 the whole values of j will print out then i equal to 1 whole values value of printout so when i equal to 2 it will exit from the loop so this is about the while for loop and now we will see the nested while loop so for that just we need to change it to while so uh, just change it and uh, we need to initialize this j value uh, before the while loop and uh, just only the conditions and we will okay and then increment the value in the end so so this is the same thing as we have implemented earlier that this will give us the same output so uh, friends that's it all about the nested loop so we have seen for loop then while for loop then while while and similarly we can use another for loop another for loop right so uh, that's it about nested loops and in next tutorial we will see about the break statement used in java and for more information you can visit the codingsimplified.com site so get and subscribe my channel thank you